Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more The World Betrayed DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Gong Sun with the Radius mod enabled. Um, so we now have Lu Biao properly uh, in trouble. Um, he has been pretty much taken out of this entire area. He has an army uh, under Yuan Shao and Ji Ling. Um, it is starting to threaten down this coast, but I'm not super worried about them. He basically just has Bad Dong. Um, as far as I can see, and that's it. This army that he has defending Ba Dong is, is scary. Um, Lu Bu and Gan Ning. Um, I've talked at length about what I think about Lu Bu in this game. I think he's, he's far overpowered. Um, not just because he starts off at a higher rank than everyone else. We've obviously come close to catching up with his rank. My, my problem with him is the fact that he can't run away. Um, I find that disappointing. Um, but, uh, still, we'll be able to defeat him just by sheer numbers. Um, what we also have is a nice situation where we have finally got this foothold. This area has been won. Liu Zhang has been pushed back. He's still actually, I think, a vassal of Lu Biao. Um, but whatever happens, he's been pushed back. Um, we're now threatening his capital at Chengdu. Um, I have armies moving in from all over the place. I have some of my vassal armies. Um, where are they? Yeah, here. Um, starting to head down. Hu Mao is here as well. He's a threat. He's not one of my uh, friends. Um, we're at war with Yellow Turbans as well. And I have Zhang He, who is going to shift down in that direction. Um, I also have an army here coming up from the south. Now my idea is we're going to take hold of Nanhai Livestock Farm and then I want to build a second army here um, and we'll use this as a base of operations uh, so we can stage our assaults into uh, the likes of Shu Wu and there's Liu Yao here as well as the Yellow Turbans. Quite up for taking the fight to the Yellow Turbans. There's a lot of them and Yellow Turbans tend to be pretty crap so I'm okay with that. Um, I also just need to always be paying attention to what Liu Bei is doing. Um, we are friends, we do have... Oh, that's Yan Yu. Um, we do have pretty good, um, you know, relationship with them. But if he attacks, I really don't have the numbers to defend myself properly. Uh, which is a little bit of a worry. Now, um, I do have a ton of money to spend. We've got our man here. We could do with some cavalry in this region eventually as well. <sighs> See, my food just isn't wonderful. I need to upgrade my food. That's another reason why I'm trying to take that farmland. Um, but I've, uh, I do have research coming up eventually, but I needed something else in the short term. So I focused on getting that first, which has sort of uh, put my food production on the back foot just a tiny bit. Um, we'll catch up eventually, but it'll be a few turns. Uh, yeah, there isn't much else for me to do here. I could try to buy some farmland, I guess. But yeah, we'll see. Um, right, that's the main stuff, at least, to do. How are we, just out of curiosity, for uh, soldiers if we were to recruit an army? Got two shot. Um... What? What? All right, we've got a few generals that we can rely on and trust. Um, and then there's a selection of people who we don't necessarily need to. Yeah. Who? Was she? Okay. Not been with him for a while though. Defenders of Ching. Qingzhou Marines. Wow. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah. We can still have four more armies, so I am interested in that. Uh, I'm still waiting for my children to come of age so I can marry them off. Um, so we can get more uh, people coming along. But I think it's actually worth having a look at... Yes, I can have another administrator as well. That's a good point. Um... Who perhaps? It's got to be Xin Yu. He just should be. All that magnificence he brings. Income from all sources, industry. So we want 
<clears throat> Mystery, peasantry, tongue and commerce. There we go. Here, take the capital. Good man. Right. So I do want to have a look here anyway and see if we can get some of these chaps uh, married. Um, we have Xuanyang, Chongyu. Let's get you done. Um, Fang Bao, Zhao Zhi. Because I've got the money, right? I want to spend it. Uh, Pan Lin. Chun Yu Chong. Drunken incompetent. This is a little bit harsh. <clears throat> okay, so it's the first time I've actually noticed this. I haven't been really paying attention to him. Um, Chun Yu Chong. Um, was Ju Shou as well, actually, were two of uh, Yuan Shao's three main commanders. Like Yan Liang, Wen Chou, uh, Zhang He, they're all famous, but they were sort of colonels, um, lieutenant generals type rank. They weren't in charge of the armies. They were in charge of a regiment or a couple of regiments. Uh, Chen Yu Chong was one of the major like commanders, major generals, one of the three. Um, and he's renowned for being a drunken incompetent because of uh, Cao Cao's lightning attack on his position. Um, his men were supposedly drunk. Uh, the, the supplies were lost and, and all of that stuff, right? That's why he's remembered as that. that. That's very much from the romance. He may not have been drunken or incompetent. He was just outmaneuvered by a strategic genius in Cao Cao. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit harsh. Um, but he's not good enough. Zhang He, I would like to marry to one of mine. Zhu Shou. Yeah, you can be married though. This will also bring me a ton of generals. Xinping, I'm not overly fussed about. Jia Xu. Oh um, yeah, we'll marry you. I did want you to be brought into the family, but you're getting old. Dang. Boy, Jia is definitely coming into the family. Xin Yo is definitely coming into the family. Uh Mao. Um Liu Gong. We can get you married. Uh you nah. All these guys down here, perhaps not. Nah. They're all okay. But that does give us a selection of new generals, which will be helpful. Um, yeah, very, very helpful. Which does mean I may be able to now fill this army out. Uh, recruit. Uh, Xu Anyang. Here is 35. Um, all about age 35. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll bring you here. Confirm. Um, swap this. I know you're not going to be able to get the world's finest soldiers because of your rank. Uh, but. Um, wanted army. An army. Find an army. We're a defensive army here. We're not moving anywhere. So, um, chance of ambush and everything else isn't really necessary. Reinforcement range, avoiding ambush. To be honest, none of it is necessary. Um, we'll keep it as it is then. <clears throat> okay. That's fine. Uh, what I will do is, whilst we're here as well, is raise another army. Um, yes, I think you. You will be commander. And I think... You? And I need a foot soldier. Uh, local hero, Tian Wenrei. Yeah, we'll have you. Okay, 
So these guys, <clears throat> oh yes, oh they're just heroin of the hand. Oh. Tiger Rush Guard, it's just the cavalry force is beautiful. Um, West Court Emperor's Guard, Martial Guardians, White Tiger Guard, it's just incredible. No, um, don't get excited. We we are not doing that with these troops. Defenders of Earth, though. Voice Chaser Marksman. Yeah, go on then. Let's try these boys out. I have not used them before. Um... I think we shall have one of these. You, m'lady, are just not quite high ranked enough, but we shall Dow Sword Guard you up. Um, you don't need them. I do like my Gowli spears. I think they're wonderful. Um, do you know what? We'll get some of these guys. I know that leaves us somewhat lacking on the old shock front. I'm okay with that. And then here we will recruit some dribblers to stand out in that force. And you can sit in there and uh, be happy you have something to do. Yeah, it's a shame she's level one. Um, married to Zaldra. She's spiteful. She is indecisive. Uh, she's intimidating. So, um, that is, uh, that's not bad, actually, for a front rank fighter. Okay. I still have no one I can add to the Imperial Clan because I haven't got anyone married into it yet. Nope. Okay, fine. Let's go. Should state as well, like the way I construct my armies is is by no means remotely historically accurate. I do try and follow like the rough formations um, because it actually plays quite well with the game. If it didn't play quite well with the game, I wouldn't use it. And it's not entirely accurate as well how I do it because the positioning of my archers is more defensive than they would have necessarily been. But um, I have a lot more arrows um, and bolts and everything else than I would you would normally see with uh, an army <clears throat> of this uh, time period. Um, why, why would I fight this? I know I have a superior army. He wants a night battle. Yeah, he's just crossed the thing. He'll be pummeled by two forces afterwards. Yeah, but uh, like if you think about it, bows, they take a level of training um, to use, like you need to be practicing with them regularly. And there simply wasn't that level of practice for most people available at the time. So actual numbers of bows would be relatively small, region dependent. So there are some areas such as the north where you had more of the Xiongnu, Wuhan, uh, Xiambei, Qiang, whatever tribesmen who definitely use bows. And the same could be said for some of the hill tribes in the south um, who use bows. And certainly like the, the the southwest where they use bows but the majority of um like support uh range support came from crossbows in han armies but if we were to look at the the northern army um which was pretty much the main professional reserve for the country based at the imperial capital uh just prior to the yellow turban rebellion you had five regiments of about seven, eight hundred men each. Only one of those regiments was uh, range support, and that was the crossbows, the uh, archers who shoot at sound. 
Um, <clears throat> and they, you know, they were crossbows. All of them were crossbow soldiers, right? And then there was also the, um, you know, the the loyal uh, barbarian. Um, ooh, yes, definitely. Um, there was also like the loyal barbarian uh, units in there as well. That were made up of uh, Xiongnu soldiers, and they would likely have been horse archers, a bit like the white horse uh, archers we have uh, with Gongsun Zan. But that's one regiment of foot um, archers crossbows out of five and one sort of horse archer support. The majority of the rest of the troops were cavalry with a small group of infantry. And that's sort of how we can expect hand professional armies to be. Heavy, num like huge numbers of cavalry, not necessarily heavy cavalry. Horse armor existed at the time. But if you take uh, Tao Sao's records of the, the campaign at Guangdu, um, he says he only had, I can't remember off the top of my head, but like 10 suits of horse armor or something like that to Yuan Shao's 10,000. Um, now, obviously, he's exaggerating the difference. It's not exactly going to be him with 10 and Yuan Shao with 10,000. But... Um, yeah, there certainly wasn't the number of, uh, certainly went reading the forums, it was like, oh, but there was so much horse armor. No, 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 there wasn't. Certainly not at the beginning. There wasn't. There was horse armor, um, and they did use it, but uh, it took time to produce, and you wouldn't necessarily give horse armor to just levied men thrown on a crap horse. You know, it would be for your top tier retinue cavalrymen. You know, your Chinjin, as they call them, like made up of your family retainers, your close clansmen, stuff like that. You know, troops you could rely on. Because you didn't want to waste that stuff. It was expensive. I know it's not like a Roman legionary where it was like a whole village worth of income to pay for one man's kit. It wasn't like that expensive. But, you know, it's still ridiculously expensive to put together. Um, e even like the leather armor for these horses um, when you think that your economy has been shot to shit by civil strife for many, many years, even before this civil war has kicked off. So, yeah. Uh, apologies for that rant. Um, but, uh, yeah. So when you look at my armies, not necessarily historically accurate, I have way too many bowmen. There would be a lot more infantry and potentially a lot more cavalry um, and a lot less bowmen. These trebuchets as well, um probably didn't exist at least not as they do i'm gonna shift this tread back not as they do in this game as well um there are records of tasa using a thing called a thunder cart um during the guandu campaign um so you know perhaps uh, they had something, but this is like the description certainly that Rafe Crespin uses is more of a um, The Kongsas and Shinyu both gang up on him is more of a uh, sort of uh, Rock throwing ballista type machine is how he describes it um, But of course everyone's sort of using guesswork and you can't 100% know for certain what it is right where am I going to send this cavalry? I think this cavalry can sit here. Um, you archers. Uh, you don't need to fall back. You perhaps might be better suited over here, though. Um, we shall spear up here. And I think we shall spear up here to support. Axes are there. We have one unit of archers here. Probably not needed over there. You can come over here. Uh, white horse entourage come here you're at the back you're here where am I you're there right let's do this go 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 you're moving good Go forward, forward, charge. <clears throat> nice. Eh, 
you sit there. You, my horses, get ready. Come on, right up here. I think we got this. I think we got this area here. Um. Yeah, remove the desire to duel. Speed things up a touch. Chaps, come over here. Uh, none of this. Come over here. And I would like you to ride in really hard on these guys. You can shift, though. Nice. They're in broken formation. They're in broken formation. We're attacking them there. Shoot them. We've got them. You chaps can come out. You chaps can go in. Stay. Go in. Nice. Axes. Yeah, you're not needed to do that. You can get in there instead. You get stuck in with him. How are we doing? Reform. Right, you're still fighting him. That's good enough. They're all trying to run. If he runs, he runs. It's okay. That's okay. Get in there. Let's get a charge off. White horses. In we go. Spears. In we go. Oh, it's so good. That, my man, was epic. Uh, yeah. Gong Sanzan. In. Uh, you boys in there. You boys come out. Reinforcement army has arrived. Mess this guy up. Mess this guy up. Go on, get in there. They need to die. This year. Yeah. Go on. Everybody on them. Chase. Make sure they don't es Well, they're going to escape, but you get the idea. You smash into them. Nicely done. You're on them. Good. Right. Go. Axe. Is. No, you're not axes. You come over here. Axes advance. You've got him. You can come here. He's running. They're running. They've broken. Axes stay. You boys go. Reform. Bonk and Zan just get in there. Uh, yeah. Up here. Right, you don't need that formation anymore. Out we come over here. Yeah, you chase that peasant band. You stay on them. You can do your thing. Kill. Charge. Right. I think you can join up around this flank. Uh, axes, you can come up on this flank. Nice. They're dealt with, so you boys can come over here. <clears throat> now we're behind them, they're not going to hold. Take that off. Chase. Axes. Come back. Swords have got that. You boys. Guess what? Right. In. Kill, kill, kill. Ready. Go. I think you boys as well. Take that off. See if we can break them and slaughter them. We haven't quite broken the spears. Not quite. Ah, now they have. Now they have. 
Brilliant, let's just run it on for a couple of minutes. Just to get a little bit more of a slaughter on. I think that is pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Axes and white horses. Just awesome. <clears throat> Just awesome. Zhang Guang. Yeah. Damn right I'm hiring you. I'm just hiring any of their boys who wants to come over who's not particularly awful because that just removes a general from uh, his pile. All adds to the attritional nature of this war against Lu Zhang. <sighs> Shit. That is not good. <clears throat> that is not good at all. And sir, you're in trouble, buddy. Yeah, we're going to need more armies. We're going to need a lot more armies in that region. It's yellow turbans. Um, <clears throat> in this game, it's made to seem pretty simplistic. Like, they're all these Taoist followers of the Great Way of Peace or whatever. Um, that's not... Oh, hello. Uh, Chan, Luoyang, Yangzhou, they were all owned by, by once great warlords and they confer such powers upon their owners. We should claim them for ourselves and establish our dynasty as the heavenly <coughs> chosen rulers of China. So we have got Luoyang. Yeah, Changsha, Yobei Ping, Jianye, we only need Chengdu. Well... Chengdu, we are kind of there. The Sun and the Gongsun abandon Avarice. The Liu family have long been friends of ours. And the fury of the Sun is well known. To ally with them will be uh, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, we failed that. That's fine. Um, it's impossible for us to get it, given uh, the situation. Ah, brilliant. Character violence. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, what was I saying? Yeah, the... Uh, the yellow turbans were not, um, you know, just like part of one movement. There were lots of yellow turbans. The symbol yellow was part of the the uh, Wu Xing, the five colors that you see here. So like this yellow, okay? Um, and the yellow uh, in this case meaning earth, and earth would dampen the fire. Earth is uh, also yellow is like the central color. It's the yellow emperor and all the rest. But the Han Dynasty was red and the yellow comes after red, it should uh, beat it. So um, that was, oh, that's quite nice. Um, that was their idea, that's why they used yellow, and that's why uh, like Sun Quan and Cao Pi, when they uh, became emperors themselves, they used yellow as their color. Um, like in their, their uh, reign, like their initial reign years, they even state the color yellow. Um, so, like, Yellow Term Rebellions popped up all over the place, um, but they were not necessarily connected to the original one uh, of uh, Zhang Jue or Zhang Zhao, um, depending uh, on who you read, um, up here. And certainly, like, the likes of Gong Du, for example. Was he a Yellow Turban, or was he just a bandit with a yellow scarf? You know, um, and... Uh, he, of course, uh, for a period of time, was, was working with Liu Bei. Um, and Liu Bei is the famous crusher of the Yellow Turbans. You know, so the, there was a, it was a lot more fluid um, than the game makes it out. Right. You guys have done well. You are replenishing. You can replenish on the move. Um... You guys have also done your bit. I think this war is going to be bloody. So we're going to move everyone across this way. 
You don't need to be in ambush anymore. You're going to come this way too. I want Juhuan. Die. Yeah, you're going to come this way. I want all of them over here. You're going to take this farmland. <clears throat> Good. Would be assassin. While establishing control of the newly occupied town, one of your officials is set upon by a particularly burly local. The attacker is a bona fide warrior, but the targeted official is an ex-soldier, happily skilled in combat himself. After a spectacular duel, the assailant is eventually subdued and detained. Good for Yan Baihu. He's leveled up as well. How oh, fantastic. Ooh, ooh. We have tactical withdrawal. Eh, okay. Interesting. Deception. So I'm checking this out because he's a bandit. They have slightly different stats. Stalker. Stalker is cool. Bravery is really good. Bravery is really good. And Gong Su Gong has upped again. Uh, yeah, we want this one. Right. Uh, Bashi, do we have anything? No, we don't. Right, chaps. Uh, first thing we want to do. Night battle. Die. To wait. Excellent. Uh, yeah. We'll gang up here. Crushing defeat, eh? Well, that's fine. We're going to continue the siege. That is a 10k garrison with the armies combined there. That is absolutely insane. Um... Uh, it's not really going to help us. <clears throat> okay. All of you guys have moved. Jashu, you're good to go as well, so you can continue moving. You've already moved. Um, over here, we have a problem that needs to be dealt with. So, if we are to deal with it... No, not you. You. All of us together. That's why I didn't want to fight the uh, night battle. Even though there was a strong chance I'd win. There we go. Damn it! That means I'm going to have to move one of these bloody armies. Oh, they can't reach either. Such a shame. Can you reach? Can't reach either. Such a shame. Oh, well. That is frustrating. Right, you're at Lujiang. Taking the fishing port. Well, prepare to die. Um, I can't afford to lose too many casualties here, so I'm going to fight this. Should also say it as well, like, although I don't have very many of... Oh. Sorry, John. <clears throat> although I don't have very many of, like, the unique portraited um, characters and stuff in this in Gongsu-san's forces. I do have a good number of relatively famous names. Um, so the likes of Tian Chou, who is with that army that just tried to attack uh, Jiling. Thank you. Um, for example, he is someone from the northeast of uh, China who uh, set up his own sort of independent state 
um, small state, I do mean very small state, who eventually joined uh, Cao Cao. This, like, he, he formed this after the chaos of um, like Liu Yu's death and Gong Sun taking over and the rebellions against Gong Sun and all of that stuff. He formed it there. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, his... Uh, I don't have fire arrows because she's a bandit. Um, yeah, he, he set up this sort of independent state that was very well regarded, and he personally was very well regarded um, as uh, a great man. Um, tell you what, cavalry, you can shift over here. Um, yeah, he was <coughs> uh, respected as a great man. Um, there's this saying uh, in his uh, biography that states that stuff left on the side of the road was untouched by looters and could be picked up by the owners at any time. And this is like a, a thing in Chinese sayings that suggests that the economy was so good that nobody needed to be a thief so that you could leave your stuff anywhere and no one would steal it. That's basically what they're saying. Um, but uh, yeah, he eventually was the guy who provided Cao Cao with the information <clears throat> of the ancient Han roads that led north so that he could outflank um, uh, Yuan Shang and Yuan Shi who were hiding with uh, the Wuhan uh, tribes allowed him to completely outflank them ready for the Battle of White Wolf Mountain. Um, so he's quite an important figure. We have a few people like that, like Dao Zhe um, in the forces. Um, we've got Zhang He obviously here. He doesn't have anything special about him, <clears throat> but of course he was a very well-regarded general of the era. I, I am still still somewhat surprised he hasn't been given any love yet. Um, so yeah, like uh, we do actually have some famous names. They're just not famous in regard to how the game developers view them as yet. I'm sure that a lot of them will be getting more love as time goes on because they seem to be uh, bringing stuff out with a focus on like the time period. So if, for example, they were going to bring out a campaign uh, close to the time period of Guangdu, I would expect the likes of Wen Chou Yanliang, uh, Zhang He, certainly. Uh, Yu Jin, um, who's another one of the great generals who does not have any uh, unique portrait uh, yet, but yeah, Yu Jin was a uh, very famous uh, general of the time. Um, and of course, like Zhang Xiu, like they've given it to Jia Xu, um, who was Zhang, uh, Zhang Xiu's uh, strategist, but they haven't actually given it to, uh, like I haven't even seen Zhang Xiu. Um, he was a great, great uh, commander of the time. Um, <clears throat> beat Cao Cao a couple of times. Um, was behind the death of uh, uh, Dian Wei, Cao Anmin, Cao Ang. Um, eventually joined Cao Cao and uh, was part of the campaign against White Wolf Mountain and was one of the casualties along with Guo Jia. Yeah. I do like the models for the bar veterans. Poor buggers don't stand a chance, though. Right, you're gonna shift there. Shift over here. We want poison, we don't want poison. No, we're okay. Poison has a bigger range though. Hmm. Go on, just advance. Alright, you're gonna follow. <clears throat> So the idea is here, we're just going to push in with the troops, up we come, <coughs> with a couple of generals. We certainly guys don't want the jewelers. Actually no, no, some of them might. You do not have any special weapons. 
but yeah the idea is we try and take out these towers capturing the towers um, we'll then have an access point where we won't be uh, under fire and so we can advance from there Go on, in we go. Come on, get in there. Uh, come here. Let's rain some of our arrows on them. My boys here, unfortunately, have been taking fire. Um, as they advance, their their formation breaks a little bit, <coughs> so you know it's not not ideal. Uh, but they'll be able to cope with it. Good, 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 good. Charge, charge. You boys are still in formation. Fantastic. Swords, I need you to rush in now. Break formation, just go, 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 go. Archers, you're coming up. You can rock up here. You boys should be having the time of your life. These are pretty crap troops. You form up directly behind. And I'd like you to form up right there. Come on, advance. Arrow is now coming in. Come on, let's see if we can break him faster. <clears throat> Come on, charge forward now. You don't need to be in that formation. You go, 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 go. Stay in this fight here. Break their soldiers. Right over here. Arrows on them. Arrows on them. Ooh. Take this land. Cavalry. Guess what? Come back. We may take that land before you need to shift. Archers, how are you feeling? Pretty solid. Good. Fling in on them then. Uh, flames. Commit yourselves. You boys, commit yourselves. <coughs> Ride right through them. They're peasants, they're losing. We're going to lose a couple as we go through, and they've obviously got this thing behind, but. If we just stick to speed, we should be okay. Lost a lot going through. Come on, over here. Come on, boys. Let's carve them open. Come on, break and break and break and pushing through. 
They just haven't properly been broken yet. Cav, I need you to rush them. <clears throat> Gonna rush all the way down this line here. What are we doing over here? Still not quite there. Smash them. Good lads. Come on, keep pushing. Alright, one gone. Let's get these peasants too. Alright, let's move. There's five peasants left. They are brave peasants. Alright, we smashed them. How are we? We are winning now. Properly winning. Go on, flame. Excellent. Cavalry. Go. Go, 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 go. Pop this. You. Hamstring him. Get them. Get them. Back in here. Uh, no. Back, 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 back. Stay on them. You, my man, have taken far too much damage. Not liking that at all. Get out. them. This guy is not dying fast enough. Uh, raw. Flame. Good. Uh, yeah, you chaps can advance here. Then we're going to put you in formation. You guys stay on these fools. You two stay on them. Cav, cav, on. Infantry, infantry, this way. Box up. Here. Here. You're boxed, you're not boxed. Okay, we've got two boxed, two unboxed. Stay on them. Uh. Alright, box up. Form there. You boys. Box up. And form there. Okay, they're running. Uh, kill. Kill. Go, 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 go. Ready, set, charge. Hmm, I don't think he's going to win if that's going to be a fight. <clears throat> Zhang He should have him. 
everybody else over here. Take this bastard thing. Uh, make my spam and run. Charge. Get him. Uh, you come back here. You focus. Nice. Just this one then. There we go. Not great, actually. I got 2,000 men, actually. That's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's my cavalry and a couple of spear units that suffered the most. The rest of them should recover pretty quickly. Shame I said I didn't want to lose too many casualties, and then I lost 1,800. Still. He will recover really quickly here. Two turns. Two turns. Yeah, they will be fine. Nice. Anything else we need to do around there? Nope. So it is just our man in the south. And our man in the south has a problem. <clears throat> His army is not great. Or is this army, to be fair? Hmm. We're going to stay here in ambush. Do we stay in ambush? There's no strategist. Has a sentinel. How high level is the sentinel? It's level 5. It's Kalgan. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll think about that. I will think about that, but that will have to decide next turn. The decision is, do we take an high livestock farm and then quickly recruit an army, or do we stay in ambush and see what he does? Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll decide that next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you have enjoyed this, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time for more Total War. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.